Hi yo, went bar club. Did this thing, thing some time ago, and I was asked how I did this if there was a video, and there is not. So let's make a video. Ding, <laughs> rock, rock, rock on. At first, we take a look at the junkyard. Now that's the stack, the styrofoam and XPS stack. And uh, what do we have here in this corner? I think one and a half years ago I glued those pieces together. I wanted to do something, but I don't know what I wanted to do. Let's do something else. Yeah, let's think. Uh, we could cut off maybe base, yeah, and then have it a hangover thing, a hangover overhang. I don't like those sharp edges uh, on the styrofoam, so I'll get a knife, sharpen it, sharpen it, and then cut off what I don't like. Going from big to small, killing all the edges and the flat surfaces. Yeah, this one cutoff was really cool, so I just glue it on there. It looks cool. <laughs> Should we leave it like that? Nah. And then I got the plastic, uh, because this is a mess. It's PVA, water, sand, and plaster. I just slap it on. So this is really precise, precise. So precise uh, that I cannot tell you how precise it is. Yeah, and after that you have to clean up the table because everything is full of uh, that stuff and yeah, where to put it? Yeah, yeah, let's just, let's throw it on there and see what happens. Bratz, bratz. <laughs> yeah, this is so much fun. So this dried like, let's say one hour or something. It's not completely dry, but it's... Uh, it's okay, so let's have um, a wash, a light green wash. I use it um, with a lot of water and then it's a, it's a wash thing. Yeah, thin, nasty, ugly, green tone. Slap it on there. Come on, go. Don't forget the sides you don't see. Yeah, maybe some light brown, some dark brown, some water in between, some green again, and then it, uh, all the green was gone. <laughs> It is dry, and uh, I'll dry brush now. It's it's a it's a mix of dry brushing and stippling. I start with a yellow, a bright yellow, and then I go back to those green tones. Make it nice. Makeup time. Makeup. Makeup. Stippling some greens. So this thing looks really great, but... Ow! It's too heavy on the top. 
Yeah, you tell me. So let's make a base. I guess you know how to cut some wood or MDF or what, so I didn't show that. Let's try to glue it on there with PVA. But uh, at the same time, I think, okay, it will never stick. <laughs> so I mixed some tile glue. How you glue tiles to the wall? I thought that would be okay. Smear it all over so we have a nice base coat of everything there and then blotch. Put some sand on there as long as it is uh, really wet. Let it dry. So we could stop here. It's perfectly cool. But you know, I cannot stop. For my last um, birthday, I got myself a lot of static grass and flock and coarse flock and whatnot. And let's use it. PVA. I want to have some static grass uh, on the top, flat, flatter surfaces. So I start with a mix of two um, light brownish tones in 2.5 millimeter and 4 millimeter. So that's the dried grass beneath the green grass. I thought maybe that works. I don't know. Let's see how it works. So this uh, grass applicator thing was a present from my good friends uh, two years ago for my birthday. They had a big laugh when uh, my wife said, I, I, he said something about a grass master. They thought I would be smoking, yeah, uh, not applying. <laughs> Yeah, let's vacuum clean that a little bit to um, make them stand up a little bit more. And then I saw something in another video that there was uh, just PVA or, or scenic glue on top of the static grass and then another layer and another layer. So let's try that. Didn't do that before. I want to know if that works. This looks awesome. It blends in really nice. The beige shines through and oh, I love it. We'll do that more often, I guess. Bank off the excess. Now to the big coarse flock, foam flock. Uh, PVA. Then two colors, a light green and a dark green of uh, this foam. F no, I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong. I'm making uh, static grass tufts by hand. Again, I like it. Why not? This is nine millimeter grass mix. So you take a little bush a little tuft and uh, stick it into the glue and stick it onto the surface and then you do that like 300 times, go. So now comes the coarse flock, big ones. Light green, dark green. I squish it into the PVA so it's totally soaked and then have a monster clump for a bigger bush and just stick it on there. After that, I try to seal it in with watered down PVA. As I learned in the elevated highway, it's uh, cool when it runs down for moss later. So I let it run, 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 run. And then it drips down into the sand. Uh, yeah, let's just use the glue for some small rocks and pebbles and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
And then I used a brush to rub it all in. Now comes homemade sawdust flock. Really fine, three different colors to have some kind of leaves or mini plants or moss or whatever you want to see in that. And then I have the fine foam flock on there in the light green for some highlights only on top and the dark one from beneath. Yeah, this looks cool already, but ah, uh, oh, this looks really nice. <laughs> Should we stop? Should we stop? We could call it a day, but I've got the urge. Urge. For pigment, pigment powder. Powder. Let's do it and then finish it. Yes, finish then. Finish. Finish it off. Yeah, choose one already. Start with the light one and then go down to the darker ones. Like always, what's what do you have to think about, man? And uh, we're done. <laughs>